Hi, my name is Brandon, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an Avaya 1616 IP phone. When configuring your IP office for use with an IP phone, there are a few prerequisites that should be checked. First, select the System section on the left, then click on either the LAN 1 or LAN 2 tab, depending on which port the IP phone is configured to connect. Select the VoIP tab and ensure the H.323 gatekeeper option is enabled. This will configure the phone system to allow IP phones to register. Next, connect to your phone system using the System Status application, click the Resources section on the left, and ensure there are sufficient VCM channels on your system. Finally, ensure there are sufficient Avaya IP endpoint licenses by clicking on the plus icon beside Resources and selecting Licenses. The total number of licenses available and in use will be shown. To configure the IP office for a new IP phone, select the Users section on the left, click on the Create a New Record icon at the top right, and select User. Enter any relevant information for this user such as name and extension number. Also, make sure that this user has a login code set by clicking on the Telephony Supervisor Settings tab. This login code will be needed to log in the extension on the IP phone. Once the user is added, the Manager program will ask if you would like to create an extension for this user. Select the H.323 extension type and click OK. This will add a new H.323 or IP extension for this user. If configuring an IP phone for an existing user, click on the Extensions section on the left, click on the Create a New Record icon at the top right, and select H.323 extension. In the Base Extension field, enter the extension number of the existing user. This is the boot process for an Avaya 1616 phone. When you first plug it in, it's going to ask you to program it by pressing the star key. If you press the star key, it will ask you for a password. The password for this phone is CRAFT, or 27238. Once you put in the password, press the pound key to advance. If this is a new phone, it's going to ask you to enter in the IP address. The address that you enter in here will depend on the type of network that you're configured this IP phone for. If this phone is to get its IP address from a DHCP server, to set it up, you will need to enter four zeros. This will tell the phone that you're looking to get an IP address off the network. Otherwise, if you need to set a static IP, you will have to put in the IP address manually, like so. To put it in a period, you'll have to push the star key. In this case, we're going to use DHCP. When you're ready, push the pound key to advance. The call server address will be the IP address of your phone system. The router, if you're using a static IP, will have to be the default gateway value for your phone. If using DHCP, you can set this value to 000 and it will automatically grab it from the network. Mask, meaning subnet mask, will also have to be put in here if you're using a static IP. If grabbing an IP using a DHCP server, this will also be set to 0000. The file server is where this phone is going to get its upgrade files or its configuration files, and it's normally the same IP address as your phone system. If you're using a separate HTTP server for your phone system, that information will also need to be put in here. In this case, we'll be using our phone system as the file server. So we'll be putting that in there. If you'll be doing any other changes, such as VLANs, you can enter it here. Otherwise, if not using a VLAN, you can put in zero. Once ready, press the pound key to save your changes and the phone will reboot and attempt to connect to the phone system. Once configured correctly and is connected to the phone system, the phone will ask you to enter the extension number for the, this particular phone. Go ahead and enter the extension number and press the OK key. 
It will then enter, ask you to enter your password. Your phone system administrator will know the password that will be needed to put in here in order to connect your phone. Once done, the phone will come up with all the buttons and configuration for this phone as you've entered. Thank you for watching.